KPCC spokesperson N. Bupendra hits back BJP spokespersons for relating full price rise with past photo weeks. All Manipur Students Garden Organization condemns a United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur for demanding 70% tuition fees from students. Manipur reports 575 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, 649 recoveries and 10 deaths in last 24 hours. And India looks below 50,000 new COVID-19, lowest number of cases in the last 91 days. Recovery rate touches 96.49%. Kurum Jari, good evening everyone. You are watching Tuesday Prime Time English Bulletin on Impact News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari with you. Before we begin, Impact News would like to make an appeal to all our viewers to continue to maintain COVID appropriate behavior as we are witnessing a massive surge in COVID-19 cases. Do wash your hands frequently, wear your face marks properly and maintain a safe distance while stepping outside from your homes or workplaces. Remember, we are still in the midst of the pandemic and these three simple precautions are all that it takes to defeat the pandemic. Now the top stories. Battle of words between Congress party and the ruling BJP government. we have some technical problem now moving on with the other news battle of words between the congress party and the ruling bjp government over the hike of prices of fuels continues unabated spokesperson of manipur pradesh congress committee in bupendra has reported the recent allegations by spokespersons of bjp manipur pradesh which blamed the congress party of incurring debts amounting 8807 crore rupees during its 15 years of rule which urgently led to the current hike in prices of fuels in a video released by the mpcc today mpcc spokesperson and bupendra criticized the bjp government of giving unfounded momentary and presumptuous statements to appease the public and hide its faults he further criticized the BJP government of giving confusing and conflicting reasons behind the spike in prices of petrol and diesel. I recall that Chief Minister N. B. Rain had mentioned that fuel prices were hiked together, funds for providing rice, COVID vaccination and medical equipment for free to the citizens, while some BJP spokesperson had stated that Fuel's prices have been hiked to generate revenue to be utilized for payments of interest incurred on money borrowed by the Congress party during its tenure. Bupendra also said that the Congress government is not responsible for the debts amount as some debts were already in existence before 1999, that is, before the Congress party came to power. He mentioned that it is normal for ruling state governments to borrow funds from the center as per requirement from time to time. And Bupendra pointed out that even the existing BJP-led state government has borrowed over 6,000 crore rupees from the center as per CAG report. The MPCC spokesperson further referred to the BJP spokespersons who had claimed that Congress party did not bring any significant changes in health sector of Manipur. And Bupendra pointed out that it was during the Congress government's tenure that the Jennings Medical College got established and RIMS got center recognition status, apart from opening various district hospitals and health care centers in health regions of the state. Regarding the allegation by BJP about the mass recruitment in government departments just before the exist of the Congress government, and Bupendra said that the, the then Congress government carried out recruitment as per the need in various government departments, 
by evading the recruitment rules. And Bupendra demanded the BJP to stop spreading propaganda to mislead the public and tarnished the image of the Congress party instead to focus on taking some real serious and genuine works for the welfare of the public during its five years of tenure which is almost ending. BJP All Manipur Students Gardens Organization has condemned the United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur for demanding 70% tuition fees from students against the government's recent order slashing the school fees of government-aided and private schools to 50%. In a video released by All Manipur Students Garden Organization, members of the association said government should not remain silent over the decision taken by United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur. The organization also appealed to the government to form a policy to impart education to children who have failed to get themselves admitted in any schools. On the other hand, the United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur has condemned old Manipur students regarding organization for misleading the public. Old Manipur Student Garden Organization na mahilu singi kalla kanda hai riba sarkar na thu riba order se amoha na review to view hai ringe ki sairang sida usom na school singu nushi bidu na mama mama olga sing na sa da hundra phi phi view hai riba se garden organization na yaabang amlor masigi wafam masi adi hai riba sarkar ki order si bu thawi tare tapni aduga gamena su. ยามนัตหาตหานาอคุยกาเลนชุติเฮกลุยบะกาพี่กิออเดอร์เซสนะกะนี่ไฮโบวะพัมมาเซมาชีตอกดิงะกิมาวยนะนะอิมิงจันด
Children below the age of 18 years will be the most vulnerable group if the third wave hit the country, as COVID vaccination for children has not been approved yet. Over 10,000 children below the age of 18 years in Manipur alone have been detected positive for COVID-19 so far. Speaking to Impact News, Secretary of Pediatric Association of India, Manipur State, Dr. Shyam Kumar Laishram has stressed on the need to follow COVID safety guidelines by each person as well as for the government to take necessary preventive measures against another devastating outbreak in the state. Second web is the problem that 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 is the Adegi Angang Shinchi the Su Omu, Kong Hamba, Diria Toba, Adegi Tabaki, Suyong, Angang Shinchi the Sor Homba Wab Shinchi, Yang Tori, Vixen Sengi Covres, Wat Park, Adegi Covid Appropriate Behavior, Wat Park, Napazana Mark Shupa, Dissenting Toba, Kut Hamba Corpus, Akoi Mu, Akoi Miam, Pazina Tongri, A Home Suba Ino Chakoi Lakan in a Lowi, Angang Miam Narakan in a Lowi, Adana Vixen Sengi Sang Shi. COVID appropriate behavior, Singship, Pazanangang, Nava Honava, SOP Singshigang, Nava Miam, Honava Zimatakta, Langan Honava Zimatakta, a quick Punna Miam Pumba, a quick Sida Doctor Katanearoi, Nipun Kudding Mak, Department Kudding Mak, Oin of a quick Punjalakan, the quick Tengnadragadi, Amamamna Tengnadragadi, a quick Wagani. According to experts, routine immunization develops antibodies in children which will protect them from various diseases. Unfortunately, COVID-19 pandemic has hindered routine immunization for children in Manipur as parents fear stepping out of homes to visit healthcare facilities. Government should think twice about COVID care centers and COVID vaccination sites being set up near government-run immunization centers. Akhoyu COVID ki se senari ngida non COVID ki mayam ama koi sena hoga dena asi na yam thok pa mayam le le angangi roti ni muna esensi masi ma kai be yadre kai no kan da hozik tama thoi train thoi kapai hozik ni mo ko kel kan juge cho hapai masi ba hapai sing ji kap ta dena masai vaccine preventable diseases and deaths masi na mo like chat amo boi re ani bati. Akhoi da hozik hida kapa handarei ba maram amasi kai ngi na kadeng asai ki ato pa mana hida kapa ham singsi da COVID vaccination center wong ki ba COVID care center sing la ki ba ama aregi ato pa mana mama ama pa singsi na su hida kapa sat kaan da COVID na launa ra kadra hana ki da na la ta ba ama aregi ato pa ama ahum chuba mana hida phang da ba. Vaccination tika zing je phang da ba transport ki problem la ba. Suma may have seen a pandavigi maramamasu void. As an amashi angangi, Sangna and Hidaka, a corpus in Malepea de Masisa Tavigadomni. State immunization officer has appeals to parents and guardians in the state to give routine immunization to their children as skipping their routine immunization for fear of stepping out of homes due to COVID-19 will have far more adverse consequences upon the children in the future. I am going to go to the hospital. I vaccine COVID. I am going to go to the hospital. I am going to Manipuri health sector could demuk the Lairu could demuk the low in a copy, Maruina, Kogi, Laipa Kokpa, Mose Sagons and Mita, Hariba Hanagi, Polio, Bexin, Hepatitis, Lady Mijal, Lady Mayamse, PCB Bexin, Sigalona, Tuesday and Thursday could demuk the health center could demuk the Hajjusu Capsule. Impact of coronavirus pandemic is far more than we can imagine. Head of Department of Psychiatry, Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Imphal, Professor R.K. Lenin has asserted that impact of coronavirus pandemic is not only upon those who suffered COVID-19, but everyone. He warned that the pandemic has the potential of affecting both mental and physical well-being of everyone and especially immature children below the age of 18 years as they stay indoors for almost 24 hours. He stressed on the need for every parent to act 
responsibly and cater to their children's needs. Angang dagi sana ko na bakubo si lokpo ki bahay si at sa uba magi life ki chang kama lokpo ki bakubo mani ba magi ozaga loy na bagi na mana ko loy na bagi ar matag tong ba sa atras ng loy na bagi po tuma lokpo ki grab. Hari ba po si na mo ay daya am sa una mentally impaired kama piba at na angang sing da eh hay na daba motivation wat pa song ning bagi po si. Masih song kuira agak di si apa betina nanti hari tu. Madu, aku ni nama tamsan, sana parents sing sana angang sing nama tam pasana pibi ba. Mau si kari nom, nanti kari nom dia engage song orang sahabi betul. Madu saya dah kau yum su pisak pipa sana bung su layta ba. Tapuk su tau ni layta ba si angang sing sedi TV ga mobile ga nanti gadi. Karena bawa nanti gadi kesu tu dok layta hari tu. Parents sing seda kau ni nyom dan tam zage. Mau kau si free tha tu pi taba. Mau si kari tau ni ge pasana yang jenbi ba. Mau kau ni rutin nama seman bi ba. Semin apa pun na. Aduga, even tapa mahu lagi tergana sah tongba, seng bo korba, hinang seng bo dagang seng seng bo tohan biba, seng bo room seng bo korba. Number three dah, muka itu quality time, mana bibi raga family raga nangi aki, mana kari, nangi nungai, mana kari, life expectation nangi kari, segi tu betul gina. Ko angang besar raga nasi nami nata leh tu istar raga ko. Jika mesti tawir raga, muka itu kudung cabu ino untuk apa? Kujiki kudung cabu mesti. Hai beri life sun tapi nabah, aku lagi cina beri sini. Sikung kau dah luang bersih, cuma pilih set bersihnya atas sini. Akang akang betul ko. Children are the future pillars of our society. It is our responsibilities to keep our children healthy and protect them from deadliest diseases. Relevant authorities should make sure that. Children are not deprived of routine immunization. With camera person, Bishojit Amairakpam, this is Ketramayum Premchan reporting for Impact News, Infal. All Community Task Force Committee Moray has prohibited Myanmar's vendors from entering Moray town amid the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Committee members held a drive in Moray town and warned of actions against Myanmar's vendors who entered the town. They used loudspeakers to raise awareness on the COVID safety guidelines and instructed people without face marks to put on face marks. In midst of COVID care center, Lamboy Kong Nang Kong have expressed satisfaction and loaded the roles of doctors at the center. In midst at the center said that the doctors check them twice daily and have been monitoring them deliberately. They also express happiness that doctors make sure that oxygen concentrators are available immediately in times of need. In Meds further said, appreciate the routine exercise program initiated by doctors and nurses. However, inmates also appeal to the government to keep the toilets facilities and surroundings of the centre neat and clean. Even as India recovers from the second wave of COVID-19 triggered primarily by the Delta variant, a mutated version of the novel coronavirus, the Delta Plus variant is now raising concern in the country. So far, cases of the Delta Plus variant have been reported in four states of Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala and Karnataka, out of which four people who received COVID-19 vaccine had contracted a Delta Plus variant and eventually died in Shiv Puri of Madhya Pradesh. World Health Organization officials have claimed that COVID-19 vaccines are signaling reduced efficacy against the Delta variant of coronavirus. Experts have said that the Delta Plus variant could evoke both vaccine and infection immunity. One of the Indian top virologists and former member of the Insegog, Professor Sahid Jamila, fears the Delta Plus variant may be capable of evading both immunities from COVID vaccination as well as immunity generated by the earlier infections. Three cases of the Delta Plus variant have been detected in Kerala, two in Karnataka. 
21 in Maharashtra and 5 in Madhya Pradesh so far. Now it's time for small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. You are watching Impact TV. Engaging, empowering and impacting lives. Welcome back. You're watching Tuesday Primetime English Bulletin on Impact News. India reported a total of 42,640 new COVID-19 confirmed cases during the past 24 hours, which is the lowest in the past 91 days. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, country's COVID tally stands at 2 crore 99 lakh 77,861, out of which 6 lakh 62,521 are active cases. India reported 81,839 recoveries in the last 24 hours, rising the total recovered cases in the country to 2 crore 89 lakh 26,038. India's recovery extends at 96.49%. While a death toll has reached 3 lakh 89,302, with the addition of 1,167 new COVID 19 fatalities. Over 28 crore, 87 lakh people have been vaccinated against COVID-19 in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 17 crore, 96 lakh, 35,000 people. Above 38 lakh, 90,500 people have died and recoveries are above 16 crore, 43 lakh, 25,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 50 lakh in the world. Akom Loop Kangli Park has stressed on the need to create a market for Manipuri aromatic black rice, locally known as Jakhau. The association has said that it's been almost three years since the black rice was declared organic, with the efforts of Mission Organic Value Chain Development for Northeast Region during 2016 to 17. In video release, General Secretary of Akom Loop Kangli Park, Santa Mangang, said. Manipur's indigenous Chakhao has no definite market and identification yet and farmers are still reluctant to cultivate the rice variety in mass. He said Chakhao is gaining its popularity following a news report on plantation of Chakhao at Chandoli in Uttar Pradesh on news media website The Print on June 20. As per the website, black rice seeds were taken from Manipur in 2017 and planted at around 1,500 hectare of land in UP. For now, Uttar Pradesh government has included plantation of black rice in one district, one product scheme and promoted by planting across 6,500 hectare of land. Stating that Chaghao is in high demand and is being sold at prices ranging between 150 to 200 rupees per kg. Santa Mangang lamented that the state government is yet to take keen interest in marketing of Chaghao at its original place. It may be mentioned that Chaghao got its GI tag last year, but farmers and entrepreneurs in the state have no idea on how to make the best use of it. Santa Mangang raised question over the marketing and promotion strategies adopted by MoMA, which is one of the essences of Mission Organic Value Chain Development for Northeastern reasons. He added, private players are not prepared enough to face national market as they lack support and expertise on use of GI tech black rice. He lamented that fun and target used by MoMA in marketing and promotion of Chakhao are limited in state. He asserted that it is high time for Chaghao farmers and people of the state to stand together to save the identity of Chaghao. Chaghao Monitoring Committee and Consortium of Chaghao Grower has also appealed to raise awareness on the utility of GI taking of products. He said PIL will be filed to probe the underdevelopment of Chaghao even after four years of funding to farmers. 
Ahoi, zaman apa cing masih dah tongan lah dia ikut. Ama file tau gini aiba, pau si, ozi kiu, dah print aiba media website si dah. Yang pasalnya yau ini masih yang viral aiba, pau masuk aiba, pau si long ni pugi, cahau long ni kita yang gigi, ini dia yang lelai bakti aiba, pau ni aiba si ah, mana thamsa ke? Cahau gigi, marketing dah go mana si na interest, law ba, what pada gigi aiba tarik, cahau tau aiba, pau sing dah nanti na emu emu bisiti, ini aiba gigi makah dah, anim piri gal aiba, enterpreneur sing, ada gigi enterprise sing, ama di tongan ba, privately operate tau ba enterprise sing dah pau dah, mana pugi cahau si, 2020 dah jadi aiba. Ini hari besu jaya tiga sih ngasih bau dah. Sih nawa ngam dawa. Sih nanti nelayu sih na masih gumba marketing dah tu iba problem sih thora puni hari sih. CBSC has selected principal of Yonako School located at Kongman Zone 3, Imphal East, P. Sarachandra as resource center and custodian during National Achievement Survey, NAS 2021. Survey started in November 12th last year. It may be mentioned that Yonako Principal P. Sarachandra has been conferred upon the Principal Award 2020 by AKS Education Award. The members of the NYKS Pensioners Forum, Manipur State Branch, Imphal, has condoled the sudden demise of District Youth Coordinator of Nehru Yuva Kendra, Sangathan retired Waikom Ibohal, who passed away on June 21st. Members held a condolence meeting at Kagempali Panthak and observed two minutes silence as a mark of respect to his departed soul and share the gift of Birif family. It may be mentioned that W. E. Bohal was the first National Youth Awardee in Manipur under the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. B. alias Penau has condemned women folk of Kurai Ningtobung Laikai for accusing her husband of threatening minor children, including his own, with the licensed gun of his elder brother, Y. Ibomcha. Speaking to media at Y. Ibomcha's residence today, Yung Kaibam Ongbi Premila claimed that a life attempt was made on her husband while being a bystander of the June 18 accident that occurred at Kurai Ningtobung Laikai. Hence, he shot a blank fire. She added that Porompath Police Station has already registered a case and the gun is in police custody. Stating that her husband's health has deteriorated since the incident, she demanded legal action against those who made a life attempt on him. Aye, nak ni pasal nama ini nak apa kata ni? Hari itu arah bah, yang nama maung zanda bah pang ni. Aye, ibu rumah benda ni, aduh dah blank payah tau ramadha. Kadai ibu rumah bagi pun siapa cari orang kata ke? Mak nak blank payah tau ramadha. Kadai angang siapa tu siang ni kadai? Kerap apa ni? Hari ini aye, ibu rumah bah si mana mana tuan si saru ani hong kai tu nama hari ini ngasih ni ni hong ni si dah masa dek kita angkang kelang go hari tu na. Kanada orang operasi tentang si hari tu nelayan jadi, asyik dah cunata nama lagi ngasih si di skala bagi rizan dah semua kari orang tu no hari besok kandri mana kong jadi asyik basangi mami tak sunung aite nama hujik, pun nama makok je hari kerja jadi, hujik pawa dip ya laga makok je kita ngapa hari kerja jadi nelayan dengan marak asyik dah makoi nak suk ilan bapa wajib sanduk pelak buat hari besok aku gila bang yang Advisor of Karang Iceland Development Organization, Hobijam Jitajan, inquire Pradhan of Thanga Part 1 Gram Panchayat, Oinam Roman on whereabouts of one second-hand ambulance and another motor ambulance for Thanga residents meant for use during the pandemic. In the video release, Oinam Gitajan said Pradhan Oinam Roman should not deceive the residents of Karang. He added that Karang residents have been deprived of benefits under PMJAY and the same was discussed with the Ministry of Social Justice, Principal Secretary, Social Welfare, RDNPR Commissioner, Bishnapur District DC, Pradhan of Thanga, Part 1, Gram Panchayat, members of Gram Panchayat worth number A, B and C on June 15. He said 4 lakh 20,000 rupees for Karang and 5 lakh 96,000 rupees for Champu village were earmarked for internal connectivity during the tenure of former Bishnapur DC, Nita Arambam, of which 2 lakh 10,000 rupees for Karang and 2 lakh 98,000 rupees for Champu villages have been utilized. Haubijam Gitazin also alleged Pradhan Roman of appointing his relatives during recruitment for ambulance drivers.
एम्बुलेंस की माना ले रहे थे गरी दोनों गरी नंबर ना एम एन जीरो थ्री पी फाइव फोर एट नाइन सी गरी से सैकेल हेन से स्कीम से मखाद सैकेल हेन लेबी ऑर्डर यौर एम्बुलेंस से ऑल रेकोर्ड थी चरु मरुति इगो भेन से ओनर ने कनाद लापन मम खे ओनरशिप कना की खे कलर से अपडेट तौदे आर सी सू स्टेटस लेते गरी एम्बुलेंस अनी एम्बुलेंस अनी है मनुग ड्राइवर ओहलीबे इमुगी अहम वार्ड मेबर की मचा मचा मांगी मचा मचा थब हाप मनो खोना लाइव प्रजा सिंह हन ये तौबीन ड्राइवर खन है गवर्मेंट की निम लेरम नोटिफिकेशन थोदी नाकाई गरी थोब है कना कना लेनी इचा ड्राइवर ओहन इनाव से ड्राइवर ओहन इमुगी थब फिर राजनीति तौन को पायनर क्लब लमदेंग मखा लेकाय हेज एक्सटेंडेड फुल सपोर्ट फॉर इंटेंडिंग कैंडिडेट ऑफ लमसांग एसेंब्ली कॉन्स्टिट्युएसी डब्ल्यू सोमटी इन अ वीडियो रिलीज टुडे क्लब मेंबर्स कंडेम्ड कुंद्रापम नवकुमार फॉर डिनाइंग सपोर्ट टू डब्ल्यू सोमटी हेंस आउटस्टेड हिम फॉर द फ्रॉम द पोस्ट ऑफ क्लब प्रेसिडेंट फॉर लाइफ टाइम Club members said that they will support W Sumati, spouse of late Lamsang MLA W Brajabidu, for he has taken various developmental works for the constituency during his tenure. Narang Novo Kumar na media sing the fungo ki wafam madu aran wafam ni Novo Kumar hari ba misak asi payonok club ki habak thoram sing mamang hatap tagi hong nayar ki drav mio ini mahang na club amasung alikay niyamu lan uhan bagi damta. पायोन क्लब की थबक थरम लेना रोय मखा ताना वाखेम उम्मीद पायोन क्लब सगोचनी Intending candidate for the upcoming Manipur Legislative Assembly election Sheikh Nurul Hassan has joined the National People's Party today. President of NPP Manipur Unit N Kayashi approved his entry to the party and appointed him as party general secretary organization. Women folk of Kiamgai Maning Laikai, Kiamgai Awang Laikai, Kairau Makting, Lilong Arabti Mapan and Khoirom Laikai stage a certain at Kiamgai Maning Laikai Community Hall today against detention of Kairau constituency intending candidate Yumnam Santa under National Security Act. Speaking to media, Y Shanta's daughter Yumnam Nganthoi said that the police arrested her father on June 6. He was produced before the court on June 14 and the court granted bail. She condemned the detention of his father under NSA even after getting bail out from the court. The Youth Forum for Protection of Human Rights has condemned Technopol police station for failing to nab accused rapist Charanga Koinangam. The accused allegedly raped a 12-year-old girl at an undisclosed location in Technopol district on May 12th. Press release from the forum said that the accused person is roaming freely even after 30 days. I beg your pardon. 37 days of filing an FIR, an appeal to Manipur State Commission for Protection of Child Rights and CWC Technopol District to make an urgent intervention to arrest the accused person at the earliest. The Tula King Laysem Basana Jawbar released a book name, and that is why Manipuri Myths Retold, written by L. Somiroy today. The book is published under Puffin Imprint by Penguin Random House India. District Legal Services Authority Technopol a big pardon Tamenglong organized a one day legal awareness program via online today the program was held on the topic challenges faced by various stakeholders in the administration of criminal justice amid covid-19 pandemic with special focus on arrest remand and bail members of plvs ngos students a youth organization and local clubs of tamenglong district took part in the meeting where advocate ch momon was the resource person district legal services authority dlsa impal west also held a one day awareness program via online on the topic criminalization of drug users a threat to health and social development today The program was held in association with Community Network for Empowerment (CON) under Manipur State Legal Service Service Authority, Masalsa.
Today, blood donation came organized by Manipur State Bharat Scouts and Guides COVID-19 Task Force Scouts on Give Blood and Keep the World Beating at Jenin's Hospital concluded today. Members of Manipur State Bharat Scouts and Guides donated blood at the camp. Now the sports news. A delegation of Manipur Hockey led by Hockey India President Gainendra Ningombam and Manipur Hockey President Vasudev Singh today visited the residences of SH Nilakanta Ahalop and Susila Chanu Prakrambam Thangmaiban to give blessings to the two Olympians and wish them a golden performance during the Tokyo Olympics 2021. The team of Manipur Hockey along with family members and players further wished both the players to share the tireless effort and safeless contribution to the team and make sure to earn a victory podium. The delegation held a small blessing ceremony at the residence of Nilakanta Sharma at Kontha Ahalok in presence of officials and players of YCCIC and parents of the Olympian. The delegation wished Nilakanta Sharma for his best performance through telephonic conversation. Later, they went to Susila Chanu's residence at Thangmeban, where a small ceremony was also held. She was also wished all the best performance through telephonic conversation. General Secretary of Manipur Hockey, Saram Nekin, members of MH, Seat Bala and M. Rameshwar took part in the visit. In the Euro 2020 football, Belgium, Netherlands, Austria and Denmark reached the last 16 stage. The Netherlands registered by 3-0 win over North Macedonia in a Group C match at Amsterdam. The Dutch had already sealed the top spot in the group. They will play their last 16 match in Budapest on Sunday. In another Group C game, Austria defeated Ukraine by 1-0 to enter the last 16 stage for the first time in the Euro. The win put Austria in second place with six points. They will face Italy in the pre-quarterfinals in London on Saturday. In a Group B clash in Copenhagen, Denmark set up a last 16 tie with Wales after an impetic 4-1 victory over Russia to finish second in the group. In another Group B match at St. Petersburg, Belgium secured their third win of the tournament by beating Finland by 2-0 in a hard-fought match to qualify for the last 16. There will be two Group D matches tonight. In London's Wembley Stadium, England will take on Czech Republic, while in Hampden Park, Glasgow, Croatia will clash with Scotland. And before we wrap up, let's take a quick look at the headlines once again. MPCC spokesperson N. Bupendra hits back BJP spokespersons for relating full price rise with past borrowings. All Manipur Students Garden Organization condemns the United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur for demanding 70% tuition fees from students. Manipur reports 575 new confirmed cases of COVID-19, 649 recoveries and 10 deaths in the last 24 hours. Below 50,000 new COVID-19 cases, lowest number of cases in the last 91 days. Recovery touches 96.49%.